Hey guys and gals, has this ever happened to you? Okay, you look at it, you need, you want to reply to a text, right? So, here we go. I'm trying to hit stuff with these big fingers and next thing you know I'm, no, I'm I got this going on. Um, how frustrating is that? Well, if that's the case, stay tuned. Don't touch that dial. I got something that I think you're going to like. Okay, now here's my uh, my Kindle Fire tablet, and here's a drawing program. So, my little marker, you know, I can do this. I can... You can do all sorts of stuff. You can draw and have a good time. And I'm using this goofy little thing right here. I mean, you can use your fingers, sure. There's times you want to use a stylus. So, there you go. Okay, so you guys are probably wondering, okay, how do you make this? And, and here's my goofy one. And it's just a basic uh, pencil or pen body. Um, it's got a piece of wire on it. Okay, and up here at the top it's got them, this magic little foamy stuff. And what is that? Well, I'm going to show you. Finding a, a pen, that's easy to do. Wire, uh, we can use a paper clip. We're going to try a paper clip on this one. And then I've even got a piece of Aluminum tape, and you can just use aluminum foil, or you don't even need that. You can actually just have wire and wrap it. The only main thing is so you can touch the wire or, or make a contact. Now, what's that magic foam? Well, here it is. This is the stuff that it's called anti-static foam. And if you do any kind of electronics, a lot of times when you get certain items that can be affected by static electricity it'll come in this foam and it'll either be black sometimes it's pink but it has a certain magic about it and uh, and it's going to be our conductor now if you you know maybe you don't uh, have any electronic stuff or and maybe you don't know anybody because if you know somebody is in electronics Chances are they're going to have some of this stuff around. But if you don't, we'll kind of cover that at the end. There's an alternative thing you can make that'll work too. It's uh, just a little different. So, uh, so let me show you. I've got a little piece of the stuff that I tore off. And what we're going to do, we'll make it even a smaller piece. Okay, like that. Now, we're going to take our clothespin and open her up. Okay. And we're going to want this at the end. So, I'm going to take, and I should have kept one end kind of hooked. Okay. So, We'll take our foam, and we're going to run it through the wire, so it's down here at the end, okay? See, we got it down here at the end. Now, you can drop this in like this, or you can drop this in like this, and have this long wire here. And just with, with what we have here right now, uh, it should work. Hold on one second. 
Okay, so now here, once again, let's try it. We got the foam, and we're going to touch the wire. And when we do, look at that. That's all we're doing. We're just making contact like that. It's that easy. Okay, so let's not stop there, though. Uh, let me show you some of the things you can do. Okay, like I said, I have this, uh, this aluminum tape here, and, and you can just use foil. You know, as long as it's metal, it'll contact. Okay, so now what I did is I took some of that aluminum tape, and I wrapped it around, and I put the, the wires through the middle of it. Uh, that's just one thing, if you don't have tape, you can just use foil, maybe glue it on, whatever. That just holds it steady. Now, let's say I want to do a message. Let's give her a try. Uh, I'm holding it anywhere on the tape. And look at that. I don't have to worry about just touching the wire. Anywhere I touch, it'll work. And it does the same thing if you're using it, like I said before, like I showed uh, on an iPad or a Fire. Anything, if you have like a drawing program, it'll work on that too. How cool is that? And let's try our new uh, stylus, the one we just made. And we're here back on the, uh, uh, on, on the Kindle. And let's see if this draws. Hey, look at that. I'd say this guy is happy. Yes, indeedy. Okay, and last but not least, let's say you don't have some of this stuff, this little uh, magic foam for right now, and you'd still like to make something like this. Here's a quick and easy idea. Take a Q-tip, you know, pull some of the cotton up, take your uh, a paper clip, and hang it over like that. Kind of squeeze it down. And I'm putting mine, I've got some more of this, uh, well, let me do it like this. I have some more of this, this tape. But uh, aluminum tape, like I said, you can use aluminum foil. Whatever you have that'll work, you know, aluminum foil will work. So let me just wrap this up here and uh, hang this over here like this and just kind of secure it. And, you know, you, you can get fancy, do however you want to do it. Uh, I'm just showing you that this is a quick and... Uh, easy way to do this too. So we wrap this up. Okay. Now all you need to do is you need to wet the cotton. If you got a little, you know, cup of water, glass of water, that'll work. I mean, you know, if push comes to shove, you can put a little bit of spit <laughs> on it. I know that sounds gross. But you know, I mean if you want to use it like I said um, for a quick and easy deal, but let's try this. Well, see, I'm touching it, and that, that's working. So for quick and easy, I can tax if I need to, and I don't have my big fingers getting in the way. So that's just another quick idea. And you can take this, the cool thing about this is, uh, sky's the limit, you know, how... How much do you want to get into it? Do you just want to have something that will work nice and fast? That's easy to text? I mean, that's pretty simple deal right there. And yet we went a little bit farther with the foam, and we got that. You know, and then and you can you could maybe put cotton up here and wet it, and you'd still have a nice pen that you just have to keep damp. Maybe you could have a cap that had water in it or something. This cap is not doesn't come off, but you know, put it over and then keep it damp in there and it would stay damp for you. I just thought I'd show you this because like I said, in the past I just I would hate it when somebody would send me a text 
because you know you, you kind of want to respond you don't want to be that person that you know I, I never answer texts and stuff uh, but I have such a hard time hitting those little letters you know I mean I'm fighting having a hard time to see because I'm an older guy and then my fingers are big and so you know, I w having like a little stylus is great. And you can buy these. I mean, you can buy them pretty cheap on eBay. But it's always cool to make something yourself. And if you got the stuff around, it doesn't cost anything for you. And you've got something nice that'll work. So I just, I wanted to throw this out at you. And I thought, you know, maybe it'll help somebody else as much as it's helped me. So uh, uh, until next time... Uh, you know, have a fantastic day, and uh, I'll see you later. Bye-bye.